It may be March in Michigan, but that is not stopping ticks from coming out, and we could see them in high numbers this year as the weather warms. There are already reports of these disease-carrying bugs across the state, and to add to the misery, mosquitoes are expected to be plentiful too. 7 Action News reporter Nana Sancho Bonsu has more on how to keep these critters off you and your family. Good evening. As we wait for warmer temps to stay, experts tell us there's a high chance that there will be an uptick in ticks this year. Michiganders are still getting used to ticks. In many parts of our state, these eight-legged insects just started popping up less than 20 years ago. We've just been lucky here in the Lower Peninsula for pretty much until the last 15 years. We've had very few ticks. But things are starting to change as it gets warmer outside and the climate changes. We saw a dramatic increase in deer ticks. Um, the one that causes Lyme disease over that period of time. Howard Russell is an entomologist at Michigan State University. And I've already had a few reports and photographs from people who have found ticks on their kids or on themselves. Russell says prevention is the best way to protect your family and animals from these pests. We treat our dogs with um, medication that keeps the ticks off them or will kill them, will kill the ticks when the when they feed on the dog. And repellents for yourself and children. Russell says make sure you're doing tick inspections, especially after a day out. Conduct very thorough tick inspections at the end of the day. Uh, check the kids out, um, check yourselves out, and remove them when you find them. I recommend, you know, tweezers or forceps, grab it right where it's attached to the skin and, and pull it off. Are there any other insects that we should be looking out for that could be on the rise as we head into the warmer weather and temps? Well, of course, mosquitoes are always a big deal in Michigan, right? I mean, we as soon as it warms up to 60 degrees or so, they're out looking for a meal. Now, once a tick has been removed and that area of your skin is cleaned, Russell says if you can, you can go ahead and take a picture of that tick. Reporting these ticks helps the states track where these ticks are located and also know if these ticks are carrying a disease or not. I'm Nana Sancio Bonsu for 7 Action News.